Okay, this is it. And here we are. Welcome to Let's Play Morrowind with Arleo and I. I'm Sapphire, and uh, this is my first Let's Play, so there'll probably be a fair few mistakes, but you know, we're gonna chug along anyway and just have good old, good old fashioned jolly time. Uh, moving past that awkward statement, this is not going to be your typical let's play. So we're starting with a character on level 30. She's already fairly well equipped as a sorceress, or a witch is technically the, the class I gave her, and there's a little cauldron in the corner of her house that suits that very nicely, if I don't say so myself. Um... Got a few mods in this setup that I might just talk about briefly before we start. And um, yeah, probably the most significant of those is Tamriel Rebuilt. So if you're a Morrowinder at all and know anything about the Morrowind community, then you would have heard of Tamriel Rebuilt. But essentially, if you haven't, it significantly expands the game map. I haven't got the most up-to-date version of it because this playthrough was started actually oh, maybe like 18 months ago now or something. I've sort of played it pretty delicately, just wanting to keep it still interesting for when I was ready to start this Let's Play. So we haven't done too much diving into random dungeons or caves or Daedric Ruins or anything like that. I've kind of just gotten a lot of the basic boring first guild blind quests out of the way so we've done a bit of the mages guild done most of the mages guild quests here in 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 Balmora which is the town we're currently in I'm kind of going to be playing with the assumption that most people who are going to be watching have played Morrowind before, but I'll do my best to explain anything for those who haven't. Um, but yeah, there is there is going to be a few things that I might gloss over. Google is your friend. If you have any questions about this game or its lore or its wonderful creatures and places, then yeah, feel free to have a look online, the UESP wiki. Perfect. Anyway, um, moving on. I've tried to sort of keep the mods to a point where they still preserve the vanilla feel of the game because I do I do love Morrowind and its and its natural vibe. Um, but it's 2023, so it's nice for things to look pretty. I had a massive amount of issues. Oh, like three weeks ago now, not long after I released my intro video, if you watched that. I had a lot of issues with better bodies and McComb's heads. I was playing with a nude version, um, but I thought that for putting it on YouTube that I should probably censor it, and turns out that McComb's heads uses the nude version of Better Bodies and slightly tweaks the mod file over the top of it. So when I tried to change Better Bodies to the underwear version, I actually couldn't. And it was really difficult for a while, but I um, found a really handy patch on the Nexus that forces McComb's heads to use the underwear versions of Better Bodies. But anyway, um, I could nerd out about the whole modding journey for quite a while, but that's not what we're right here for. So a couple more things that I'm using mod-wise that add more significant changes to the game is Rise of House Telvani, um, which expands the quest line of House Telvani. There are three major houses in Morrowind, like different factions, and you can only join one of them. And Alea being a sorceress wizard witch type has yeah joined the crazy crazy wizards that live in the mushroom towers along the east side of Morrowind. We've gotten to the point where we have the first stage of our 
stronghold built, Tel Uvrith. We've also got a mod that makes Tel Uvrith a little bit bigger and more interesting, but the, yeah, the stronghold is only in its first stage of growth. Very small. Uh, you can't enter it yet or anything. We'll go check that out at some point soon, actually. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that, that we've got got added. Most of the House Telvani quests up until this point were pretty basic fetch quests. So I didn't really worry too much about doing a few of those before I started recording. It's basically, this other wizard has this fancy stuff that I would really like, so you should go and kill them and bring it to me. and Or, or, or some basic al alchemy, alchemy ingredients or other things like that. We convinced Baladas to join the council, who is a um, pretty badass old old wizard man who lives in Nisus. If you're familiar with Morrowind at all, you will have met Baladas. He's one of my favorite NPCs. Uh, we did one quest for House Telvani where we went and saved a fellow Telvani wizard in his Velothi Tower from some Redoran or Lalu competitors in the area. So he secured a part of the map that was near Molagma, I think. Uh, but I can't quite remember. We've done a couple of Balmora Fighters Guild quests, but not very many. Done some Balmora and Sadrithmora Thieves Guild quests. Uh, the only Balmora Majors Guild quest that we haven't done is the staff of Magnus quest for Ajira. I thought that might be interesting so I would leave it. I did join the temple but I think we've only done one quest for them besides the pilgrimage. You have to do a pilgrimage when you join the temple where you travel around to all of the different temple shrines. Uh, so we did that pretty early on and then I think we delivered a blight cure potion to somebody and that's all we've done there we solved a murder in Vivek. I have not started the main quest. As my introduction stated, we came here, we talked to Chaos, and he said, go get strong, young grasshopper. So that's what we've been doing. We've been getting strong. We've visited a couple of spots in the mainland area that's added by Tamriel Rebuilt, primarily the Telvani town of Tel Uada, and we've also visited Port Telvanus, the capital, but we haven't done too much around there. Done a little bit of poking around Helnim. I thought that's something that I could get away with because Helnim is going to be completely redone in the next version of, of Tamriel Rebuilt. Not the, like it's Yeah, it is released now, but I don't have it because I started this playthrough a little while ago. Got a bit of FOMO over that one, but there's always more time to install more Tamriel Rebuilt and play more playthroughs. So a couple more things before we start. Not too much. Almost through. We've got a mod that rebalances Blood Moon and Tribunal, which are the vanilla DLCs. They make them a little bit more accessible at an earlier level and make some of the... I think they make a Blood Moon end game dungeon a bit less absurd. But, um... Yeah. We might get started. And I can talk about anything else that I've sort of forgotten about as we go. But yeah, we're here in Balmora. This is this is Alea's home. A little house on the I'll just show you. Whoop. I suppose we've got the interior map there, don't we? But yeah, this is inside the house. It's currently 9 a.m outside. Oh, isn't that a familiar view? Oh, lovely. This is our little house here. Oh, oh dear. Um, I did a couple of things to make this compatible with Kilkunda's Balmora, but I've completely missed that tiny little fish there. 
Not to worry. It was never there. Ignore that. So I think, um, actually, I wanted to alter the time scale as well. Because the natural time scale in Morrowind moves pretty quickly. We're going to give 15 a go. See how we feel about that. I can't rest here. But yeah, it's 9 a.m. It was 9 a.m. when we came outside. So one of the first things we're going to start with is... <laughs> Classic. If you've played Morrowind, you will have gotten furious with this quest. Idas Fire Eye, who runs the Balmora Fighters Guild, has asked me to get a code book from Satild at the South Wall in Balmora. South Wall Corner Club is a place where the Thieves Guild hang out, and Satild is a member of the Thieves Guild. She won't give it to us, even though we are a member of the Thieves Guild. So we've got the option of either trying Outland. to steal it from her, do you want? if we're good enough to do that. Am I in the right place? I think I'm on the wrong part of town. Yeah, we're, we want to go across the river. Of course. South. Well, beyond measure. South. And south east. Oh my goodness, get out of the way. So with MGE and stuff, you know, we've obviously increased the view distance here and... My time is precious, so make you know what? Look, give me a version of Morrowind that doesn't have a couple of little graphical issues. There might be objects that pop in and out of the distant rendering sometimes. But we just ignore that. Hello? You're a new face. You've seen me around here a bunch, Satild. Don't, don't act like we haven't met before, darling. You want to talk to me about this code book? I know we've spoken about it before, but I'd like to talk about it again. You like me a lot. Look, bandit, I'll tell you what's going on. This code book has dirt on the Kamonitong and the Skooma trade. As soon as we get it figured out, we take it to the authorities and take over the trade ourselves. The Fighters Guild works for the Kamonitong since Strawing Hardheart took over. You have to decide where your loyalties lie, bandit. Look, my loyalties lie. Yeah, sure. G goodbye. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Oh, you your pants look strange. How nice. I like good company. What can I do for you? You could put on less weird pants, please, Arathor. But, um, you know what? That's probably my fault, not yours. I've been screwing around with mods a lot lately. Well, uh... Oh. Speaking, speaking of... Friend. That's a very impressive yoga move. Oh, goodness, the sounds down here are horrendous. This is a disgusting place filled with disgusting people. Yeah, well, should have figured as much. But basically, Satild won't give us the book. So we're going to have to either thieve it off her or kill her. You or choose just not to do share it. your time with me? Yeah. You humble me. Or we can just not do any more quests for the Fighters Guild in Balmora, which is also an option. But I think I would like to give Pinching It just one more go. Just one more go. Got a couple of things that'll make that easier. Got a few things here. We've, um, you know, we're, we're level 30. We've got some shit. Got some shit by now. But um, we're going to use the Ring of Surroundings, classic, to uh, yeah, increase our invisibility. Well, not invisibility. It, it adds a chameleon effect, which makes us more difficult to detect. Also have this one. will make us a little bit harder to see, too. I, yeah, I thought that had Sanctuary for a sec, but I don't know if Sanctuary even helps with sneaking. Anyway. Yeah, that one. Oh, I can't use both. I have to use that and then put this one on. Yeah. Oh, now I've got both. Bloody hell. We're probably not going to be able to do that. Satild has an extremely high sneak skill, which makes her really difficult to... Over here! Nah. A thief! Yes, I... Saves come. 
I don't care. Judge me if you will. I'm going to do it anyway. This is my game. I play how I want. Boo. That's still... You got something I want, baby. Did I... I don't think I did the effect. We'll do it again anyway, just to be sure. Oh, bugger. I'll give this one more go. She's really hard to steal this from. Like, in pre previous playthroughs, this quest got me stuck for ages. It was back before I knew that you could actually taunt people into attacking you, and I also just didn't want to kill Satilde because I like the Thieves Guild. But Alea doesn't give a fuck. She's badass, which. Alright. Now, after that thrilling start, let's kill Satilde. Everybody always wants to. I'm just finally doing it. I'm sure a bunch of you have. Uh, no backseat gaming, by the way. I have played this game plenty of times. Morrowind was, you know, look at me. You choose yeah, to share your thanks. time with me? You humble me. Oh, darling. You won't be saying that in a minute. Morrowind was one of the first things I ever, ever played. I think I played The Sims before Morrowind, but uh, when it comes to gaming, I don't have that big of a range, really. It's kind of Elder Scrolls and The Sims and old school RuneScape, but um, point is, is that I've been playing Morrowind for a really long time. There's, I'm sure there's still plenty that I haven't seen and that I haven't found and that I don't know, but I do, yeah. Okay, so I've pissed her off so much that she's going to attack me now, which means that I can fight back. You will die where you stand! Oh, you reckon? You reckon? Motherfucker. I didn't get a bounty for that, did I? I, I was a little, little quick to the trigger. Nope. Bounty zero. Hell yeah, she'd activated combat, so I guess that... Uh, I thought they had to hit you first, but... Oh, whatever. Taking your code book. Is there anything else here you've got that's worth it? Pathetic. Crap, 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 crap. Why have you got two of those? It's not like you can wear two helmets at once and two. Weird. Maybe she just wanted to match with someone one day. Maybe we should take her stuff and get rid of her body. And dispose of enemies, corpses, and it just disappears entirely. But I'd end up taking all of her shit into my inventory, which I don't. I don't want all of her shit. It is crap. I could stack it on the floor next to her, but you know what? You've been such a pain in my ass, Satilde. You can, you can fucking stay there for a little while. Consider this a warning. Change your pants. Oh, that felt tough. <laughs> well, I just better be happy with me. I just committed murder for this book. I wonder what is in it. Alea doesn't really care about Idis and the uh, Fighters Guild. Interesting. You know, I... I bet, though, that if you were to rearrange some of these letters, what is the word for that? Um, I swear it begins with A. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Doesn't matter. I'm sure that if you were to rearrange these letters, it it, it would make sense. Maybe. Maybe. Well, we can't glean anything from that. Let's get rid of it. Yeah, Alea doesn't really care about the Fighters Guild and the Thieves Guild and the Kamonotong. Or, um, anybody else, really, for that matter. This is kind of why she fell in with the Telvani, because they're just, uh, they're just doing it for themselves. And I think Alea can, can align with that a bit. What she does want is power. 
some revenge to seek someday soon. If you uh, listen to my little intro, then you would know what I was talking about. But if not, what can I do for you, friend? Oh, kind. No, nothing for the moment. I like what I see. I'm Easy there, for Wayne. Go ahead. Man, these people like me a bit too much. Hey, Idis, I got your stupid code book. You recovered that code book yet? I've been waiting too long. You're, you're telling me. You're telling me. I feel like it's been years. I'm not sure I've ever finished this quest, actually. Glad to see that code book, Alaya. Hand it over and I'll get you your payment. Yeah, you can have the book. 50. Here's your 50 septums, Alaya. Guild needs more like you. Obedient and efficient. If you want more orders, just ask. 50 gold really didn't feel worth all of that, honestly, Idis. But, um. Yeah, we just kind of want to practice killing shit. We got strong. See if there's any other quests here that maybe we want to do, or if we should just do another. The Fighters Guild quest now that we're here. Yeah, not really sure. Something more interesting might be nice now that we've done that. Which I think this will be interesting. So, Jira is a Khajiit in the Mages Guild who we kind of befriend in the early quests there. And eventually, once you've reached a certain rank, Ajira tells you that the Staff of Magnus uh, can be found in a cave called Asu on the slopes of Mount Kand, or Kand, northwest of Malagmar. You found it? No. Um, yeah, it doesn't tell me much about it, does it? Apparently it's powerful, and Ajira doesn't want it. Ajira just wants to see it, so Alea's kind of interested. So here's our world map up here, obviously. And you can see bits that have been uncovered, the areas that we've been to, and there's still so much we haven't been to. And then all of this along the edges here, all of this is added by Tamriel Rebuilt. Now my version of it doesn't have this area populated, although the newest version does. Up here is still unreleased. Um, but what is complete in the version that I have is the Telvani Isles region. I'll just make that a bit bigger, which is pretty much all this area. There's a couple of imperial settlements in there, like uh, oh, that's yeah, no, Bal Baloria is the the imperial settlement, and then there's Firewatch and Helnim down here. But yeah, this version all has this area down the big. Uh, city of Necrum and Old Ebonheart, and then the area down here, I believe. This is not finished. That's the capital. They're going to do that last, I believe. But anyway, I haven't noticed much of the much of the music. I wonder what's going on there. Oh, it's oh. oh. Oh, I guess I had I'd been playing for 20 minutes without the music. My goodness. I guess I've just been rambling so much I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Well Have you met, any news? Friend. Bloody hell. Let's see how that time scale's doing. Oh yeah, two hours. That that feels that feels about right, maybe. Is that a bit loud? I wonder if all of it's a bit loud. I'll turn it all down a little bit. I think the volume might be something that I take a few tries to, to get right, but yeah, we'll just figure it out as we go. So we're going over here. Mount Kand is this 
area here, I believe. I think that Ajira has given us some directions to Asun. Oh no, it's not a... It says, on on the slopes of Mount Khand, northwest of Malagma. Maybe we could go talk to Ajira real quick. I mean, we're right next to the Mages Guild. Welcome, friends. See what they we say. Extend you our warm regards. See if they've got Hail any more friend. info. Probably not, though. If it's not in the journal, oh, we can always check. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk about? I'm actually here to talk to Ajira. Sorry. Nice robe. It's really fetching on you. Jira is a good friend of Alea and tells Alea about the Staff of Magnus. You did. Uh, remind me though, have you found the Staff of Magnus? Ajira does not want it for herself. I, I haven't found it yet. I've um it was a while ago that we that we spoke, Ajira. I was wondering if you could tell me about its location a little bit in a little bit more detail. Nope, none of the that's that's all you have to say on the subject. Classic Morrowind. Do you know anything about Telvanni Spy? Telvanni Spy is Yeah, no, uh, of, of, of course. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Telvanni. What are you talking about, Telvan? Right there. How are you? Better than you? <laughs> Ooh. That was a bit rude of me. <laughs> Don't be rude to my fellow mages. If there's Speak anything on I can everyone, do. though, I'm like, oh, yeah. hey, everybody. We're still a little bit invisible from wearing our schmancy ring, aren't we? Maybe we can take that off. Look a little less creepy. Just a little. Although... Yeah, we look badass. This is the... Keep a civil tongue, Delvani. ...robe that Master Arian gifted us when we became his mouth. He is the man who is our patron in House Telvani and gives us our quests stuff at a certain level oh well that didn't last very long that guard's still running madly about there I was just trying to admire the view and somebody wants to kill me oh he appears to be stuck in the wall Go we jump down there and see what's what see you. Who are you? I don't, I don't want to kill you. Whoa! Thug. It's... Well, he's not bothering us anymore. He's still creating a thing. It's the wall in the way. You know what? Whatever. You can stay there. Oh, there's someone else. Hello. You've got a nice looking glass dagger. This is very convenient that you're stuck there like that. Yeah, that, that healing potion didn't do- Oh my god, there's a few of you. Am I wearing my- Yes, I am. Oh. Why don't we summon some help? The town guard doesn't seem to be doing very much. Oh, I think I've used too much of my magic up for most of use. Ah, uh, use. Excuse me. All right. Dagger time. Oh my god. No. Aha. I don't have enough. Magic. All right. Oh, 
twice. Oh my god, he's healthy. Weaver. Keep store health, common pants. Not anything good. That was that was nice with the bells there. I uh I have a mod. Oh my goodness. The yeah adds bell towers to some of the major cities that ring at midday and midnight. I think I could still use some some volume adjustments here, perhaps. And we'll see how that goes, because that all felt pretty loud. Right, we'll see how that goes. These guys are kind of tough. You have no health. You should be dead. Yeah. Good. 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 All right then. Expensive ring. I'll take that. Steel longbow. Silver dagger. Fire shard arrow. Yeah. Scarf. Take your sixteen gold. New extravagant ring, thank you. Thank you. Oh well. Fuck off then. Your face is chock full of arrows, mate. Oh my god. You should be dead. I don't want to be seen with you either. My god, you got some. You should see a doctor. Go to the temple. All right, um, maybe let's go back to trying to admire the view. That was, that was nice when we were trying to do that. <laughs> Since we've dealt the threat, there we go. The lovely view. Still 12, cool. I did like the bells ringing and that was nice. God, oh, isn't that gorgeous? I could admire this game all day. <laughs> Alright, but for now we're gonna maybe walk heal actually. Oops, it's that one. Hi Selville, Saralok. This is one of the main ways to uh, That's probably better. One of the main ways to get around. There's no fast travel in this game, although technically there is, but they're integrated into the game mechanics a little bit more nicely than in um, Oblivion and Skyrim. There's actual travel services around the place. This is, oh, show you if you haven't seen it, a giant bug called Silstrider. And you jump in, and the driver will. Manipulate the uh, I'll get I'll get his explanation. It's it's a bit better. Good day, Outlander. I'm Belmore's Caravana Caravana. I don't know why I said it like that. Tell me your destination and I'll tell you if I can help you. So let's ask him about his silt strider and he'll he'll explain how it works. Silt striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements on Bardenfell. Theirs depend on distance to be travelled. Silt striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed, hollowed out from the creature's shell. The driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. Silt striders travel between Aldruin, Balmora, Sedanin, Surin, Nisus, Molagmar, Margan, and North Landing near Vivek. That's where we're going. They won't all go to all of them. I'll go to the ones that are sort of a more reasonable distance um, from from them to the whatever next nation, whatever. You get it. I always uh, get a little bit creeped out though by the by the way these work. Feels like animal cruelty, but um, 
I think I'll lay it feels a little bit that way too. Alright, so we want to go to market and I think we head to the deck first. Then we can travel from there. Where would you like to go? And we're here now. Yeah, nice. We had a little bit of a game crash when traveling here. It happens sometimes. The game will crash sometimes. It's an old game. It's got a lot of mods. It looks fucking beautiful, but it does crash sometimes. But we're um, not hanging around here anyway. We're going somewhere else. Olagmar. Why walk when you can ride? I agree. Poor. This place is a vibe. What time is it now that we're here? I can't rest. Can't check time till I'm safe inside. That makes complete sense. Although in a fantasy universe, if you were to just like, you'd, surely you would just instinctually know the time. Like, how do you check the time? An old group of pot or something. Seeing where the sun is in the sky. No sun right now. It's 8pm. Okay, there we go. That's why there's no sun. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe we'll stay in Margan for the night. Before we head to a zoo tomorrow. I feel like that makes sense. And this place is... Let's go this way. Yeah, a little, little worse for wear. It's like, could be doing a bit better, Margan. Underworks. I don't... I don't like, maybe? Probably not, though. Will we find an inn in the Underworks? Is the underworks going to load? I mean, oh, okay. It, it's, oh, geez. Well, now I didn't, oh, oh, was that the, t yeah, all right. Um, I think we need a light source down there. <laughs> that was a little creepy. Let's, let's equip our lantern and go back in and see what it looks like. Do we have a lantern? I thought we had a lantern. We don't have a lantern. We should have a lantern. Or a light spell. So we could, we've got fire making materials, but they take like a moment to set up and you kind of have to see the thing to set it on fire. Right? I feel like that makes sense. Got a couple of town overhauls installed, so if you're thinking that this does not look like Vanilla Margan, you are right. It is not Vanilla Margan. Margan's supposed to be a bit of like a settlement on the edge of the you know, Moleg Amur? Amur region. Just pretty, pretty filled with ashlands and and stuff. It's supposed to be a bit of an outpost. In the original game it didn't quite capture that. But I think that this um, that this mod has done a really nice job of just adding a few little touches to make it feel a little bit more like an outpost. I guess I should have gone in this way because we've just done a whole loop here. I think that the town overhauls are nice because they add a little bit of freshness to a game that has been played and played and played and played by a lot of us. Yeah, you can't really see much, but you can see that it's like pretty sparse looking out there. Like the waste works. Oh, we can go further up. Oh 
nice. This looks a little bit more like where we might want to be. Hey, um, welcome to Molagma. Alea, how can I help you? Are you looking for someone in particular? More like somewhere in particular, but this is Alea's first time here. Um, can, can you tell me a bit about Molagma? Nandi? Molagma Stronghold is a combination frontier garrison and pilgrimage hostel jointly. Staffed and maintained by the Tribunal Temple and House Redoran, both the Temple and House Redoran have garrisons of elite volunteers here to defend the stronghold. Pilgrims use the stronghold as a base from which they can attempt the difficult and dangerous pilgrimages to Mount Khand and Mount Asanabibi Asana sites to the north in the Moleg Amma wastelands. What can you tell me about Moleg Amma? Moleg Amma is the rocky, uninhabited wilderness interior of southeastern Vardenfell. If you didn't know, Vardenfell is the main island that the original game is purely built on, and then the mainland sort of forms a horseshoe shape around that. Moleg is the only settlement and it's more a fortress than a village. Pilgrims come here to visit Mount Khand and Mount Asa. Asa. I always have trouble with a lot of these names. <laughs> You'll have to bear with me. Mount Asana Bibi. But they can't travel without well-equipped, heavily armed escorts. There are no paths and ravines, ridges and lava pools make it impossible to travel straight over land. And if you get in trouble, you're on your own. Sounds like a delectable place to be. What about... Yeah, no, I can't ask you about Asu, the cave I'm looking for at all. Um, specific place, though. Maybe you can tell us where we can stay tonight. Buoyant armager and redder and garrisons, the hostels and other services are all inside the Molegma stronghold. Either on the top tier, which is where we are now, I believe, or inside on the lower tiers. Roads lead north to the two pilgrim sites, Mount Asana Bibi and Mount Khand, in the Molegama Wastes. Silt Strider services go to Surin and Vivek, from the docks get ship passage to Vivek, Telbranora and Hla Oad. Alright, so uh, roads lead north. We're going to Mount Khand, find a Sioux. But you haven't told me much about where we can stay for the night, which is actually what I really need to do. But we'll figure that out, I suppose. Just have a look. St. Belos Hostel. I wonder if I can stay in the hostel, because I'm a member of the temple. We're pretty, pretty low in the ranks, because we've only done, like, one quest for them. Here we are. Temple. Yeah, we're an acolyte. We're an acolyte. I think Alaya's pretty pissed about just being a lowly acolyte in the temple. She wouldn't want it. She wouldn't want to stay there as a lowly acolyte if she could stay somewhere else. Temple. Might look in there for a light spell um, in the morning. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, maybe I won't, won't interrupt you guys. Oh, sorry. Okay, so there isn't, there's just a temple and the hostel up here by the looks of it, unless there's something else over here. Yeah. I suppose I could spare a moment or two. Oh, how gracious of you, stranger. Well, I'm going this way. Redoran stronghold. Blech. Honorable Redoran. Fools! True power lies in sorcery. Alaya cares too much for honor, unless it's to the three, her own. The spirits and thy laws. She's pretty prideful, I think. All right. Well, there might be, there might be somewhere in here where we can sleep for the night. What time is it? It's 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 9 p.m. Been here for an hour. I think that time scale's feeling all right, Smith. But it might even still um, just stronghold. It might even still be a little bit fast. We can always move it again, I suppose. No? I want to. The 
Cesius Piculus Raider. Dandrus Telman. Greetings, Arlea. I'm Dandus. Dan Dandros. Everyone here in Molokmar is involved with the temple outpost or pilgrimages in some way. Is there some specific place nearby you'd like to visit? Are you just going to tell me the same thing? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, you are just going to tell me the exact same thing. That's fine. What's your background? I'm Dandrus Telman, trader and businessman. Shall we strike a deal today? Oh! <laughs> Got a deal? What do you got? What do you got, mate? Mostly booze, booze and eggs. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm good, Dandrus. You haven't got much money anyway. Any fine rumors about? Ooh. Anadrika in Grand Studio. <laughs> what? <are you? laughs> good on your borrow wind. Been like, oh man, I feel like I've copped like a couple of the more out there words. Like, as soon as I start to try to record a let's play, <laughs> I think that's the finest one yet. Anadrika in Grand Statia. Yeah. Anadrika in Grand Statia finally gave up trying to compete with the superior craftsmanship of Hakar the Candle. She packed up and returned to Skyrim, leaving all of her belongings here with Hakar. I guess it was a friendly parting. Sounds pretty suspicious. I mean, they sound like, like competitors, right? Tells mommy, tell, tell me more about her car. Her car can be found in the Redoran stronghold here in Molagmar. Okay. Okay. Any other interesting topics? Tell me about Malogamu. I'm about to go out there tomorrow. What should I expect? Uh, yeah, you, you're telling me the same thing as well. Rocky, uninhabited wilderness. Pilgrims come here to visit Mount Khand and Mount Asana Bibi. Can't travel there very easily. No paths, ravines, ridges, lava. And if you get in trouble, you're on your own. I reckon Alea's a little bit keen to get out there, to be honest. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is very cute. Ceremonial teapot. Oh, it's super got like a little button hanging off it. You've got a really cute teapot, Dandrus. Maybe I'll come back and have a drink with you sometime. After I've gotten the staff of Agnes. Or perhaps I shall be drunk with power. Drunk with power and booze. Seems like a better combination. <laughs> Alright, well... Shall we try the canal works? I think so. I think Alea would rather stay anywhere than at the temple as a lonely acolyte. Lowly acolyte. I think after doing a couple of these, my tongue will be less tongue twisty. So you'll just have to bear, me, bear with me stumbling over every second word until I get a little bit more comfortable with the recording. Well, it doesn't seem to be much down here, does there? Pretty much what I would uh, expect in canal works, canal things. One so dude, from. Cyrus, not sus at all, Cyrus. You're literally the only person down here. It's nine o'clock at night. Yes? Background? I'm a descendant of the great second age Redoran Cyrus. I see. Every so often our family names us after him. And I was the one honoured this generation. Other than that, I was born and raised in Hammerfell and now live in Cyrodiil. What are, what are you doing alone in the canal works of Marg Ann, a 
bloody Ashland stronghold. Like, just, you know what? Sus. What's your trade? I'm a warrior. Well, that makes a... Okay, stronghold, warrior. You're starting to make more sense now. A warrior and a disciple of the way of the sword. I am also a member of the blades, like you. But I'm on leave right now. When I'm unfinished with my business here in Morrowind, I'll be heading back to Cloud Ruler Temple in Cyrodiil. You're a member of the blades. No shit. Well, I don't really know much about the blades. I just talked to a shirtless skoomer addict called Caius, and he said to go and get strong. So we are getting strong. Um, so yeah, I don't know much about the Blades. Want to tell me about them, Cyrus? I heard of you from Chaos Crusades, Alea. You're lucky to have him for your spy master. Really? He doesn't seem that on the ball to me. And I'm not sure that I'm willing to take your word on the matter either, mate. You're on leave, so you come to the bottom floor of a bloody Ashland stronghold. Yeah, I'm still sus. Can you tell me anything about Hakar, anyway? I heard he's sus, too. Sus? Sus no sus? Yeah? Yep, can be found in the Red Room Stronghold here. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? You're weirding me out, so I'm just gonna leave. I suppose we'll go stay at the temple. I suppose. Not happy about it. It's the stairs. Goodness me, it's dark out here. For a stronghold, there is surprisingly few light sources. Oh, what? Okay, this just goes oh, down. I do have a light spell, but it only lights up, like, PCs. <laughs> so, like, it lights target, which is funny. Um, I'm pretty sure he's not going to care if I do. Yeah, yeah. Now he's a light source. Now the boy in armage is a light source. Any any more people around here I can use as light? Oh, he's got some really funny mechanics like that. I mean, if you're in a dark area and, you know, you're being attacked by a bunch of people in the dark, you can light them all up. Which is not something I've ever actually used before. But maybe I should. Alright. What time is it? How long? Are it? Ten. Spent two hours here stuffing around. It feels about right, actually, though time scale. Maybe. The hostel. I mean, maybe it'll be nice. Oh. Uh, hopefully that's not a problem. Yes? No? We're fine? Alright. Lovely. That might happen sometimes. I'm gonna drop a quick save. Um, yeah, that might happen sometimes, but as long as we haven't got anything too game-breaking, and I'm generally not too worried about it, it's the price you pay for lovely textures and redone faces and four or five times the original landmass. Things like that. I like your style. All right, I'm listening. Uh, all right, we'll, um, we'll ignore that as well. The three blessings, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna leave it. Maybe I'll fix it later. I'll screenshot it and I might come back and fix it later in the ASB. Um, hello, good day to you and welcome in St. Veloth's Hostel. We rent beds for weary travelers and pilgrims and I can provide you with some food if you're interested in other services or if there's someone in particular. I may be able to help you. I think I'm just after somewhere to sleep, please. Ten gold. Done. Share the room with Stinnet. He seems like a nice person. Enjoy your stay. Alright. E. 
quiet. Wish I was sharing a room with you. No matter. Well, maybe we should buy something to eat. Have, have something to eat. And then we can go to bed. What do we want? Yeah, I think we'll ha I mean, do we have any? We don't have any food on us, do we? No, we don't. I'll have one scuttle, please. And some... Jean. We're going to bed. We'll be fine. We can have some burgers. Oh, fine. Horns, oh, Marin. Alright. In case you can't tell, tell I am, uh, I am going to be role-playing. Yum. I guess the, the drink is in magic. Oh, I had flea and I could have drank that. You know what, sometimes some, some cheap booze really does, does the trick, hits the spot. It's the spot. So, um, you know where my room is? Oh, uh, hi. So, where are you from? Um, well now, I don't mind sharing a room with you. You're, uh, creeping me out a little bit there, though. Like, do you want to just get off the furniture? Let's have a conversation. Come on, hop down. Thanks. Oh, good on ya. You, you, you wanna look at me, mate? You wanna look at me? Fine, whatever. Welcome to Malagmar, Alea. How can I help you? Are you looking for someone in particular? <laughs> no, I'm not Stennett, but um, why don't you tell me about you? So Stennett, at your service, my lady. Oh, I, I don't mind that. Got any got any juicy goss? There is a camp of outcast Ashlanders south of Molagmar. Except that they say they are not outcasts, but are true Ashlanders founding a new tribe. They chose Temple Land to do it on though, so I heard that's causing some problems for the Molagmar Temple Steward Therer Rothaloth. Rothaloth? <laughs> Therer Rothaloth. Maybe we'll go talk to him at some point. Do a bit of work for the temple while we're here, maybe. Heard anything strange that it was just me having a sip of my drink? Uh, sorry, I won't go through. I mean, I suppose it's not yours. It's not anybody's. It's go to bed. Don't do anything weird while I'm asleep, please. Okay. Can I sleep in either bed? Yeah, I can. Rest for eight hours. That should put us around morning time. <laughs> time to start the day. Morning, Stennett. Did you have a nice sleep? Yeah. Do you want to know more about the whole Moleg Amur region? I mean, I do actually. I'm about to head out there. Um, you're, again, full of generic information. That's all right. That's all right. I forgive you, Stennett. You're um, clearly not from here. I wonder what you say when I ask you about your trade, though. Because you said, um, you said you were Sir. What they call a Crusader. Crusaders like, how oh, it used to be warriors in service to a cult, but now any heavily armoured warrior with any good cause calls himself a Crusader. My good cause is hunting down necromancers and witches and bandits and other malefactors, and I do well by doing good. Salvage on arms, armour and goods taken from malefactors earns me a good living. You got a problem with witches, do you, mate? You got a problem with witches? You got a pretty fucking nice little knife here, mate. Look, you would have killed me in your sleep if you, uh... I don't 
actually had a problem with me. Maybe I'm just so pretty you don't care that I'm a witch. But I am a witch! Just so you know. Can you ask Might not share a room with, uh, with Stennard again. Come back here. He's bound to figure it out eventually. Maybe Stennard's a bit thick. He's gorgeous, but he's a bloody idiot. Do we get any brekkie? Yeah. What do we have for brekkie? Yeah. Like a low leaf. Tasty edible succulent leaf of the grazelands. Prized both for taste and its restorative properties. Sounds good. Rumors flow from the house of troubles. Oh, I mean magic. Let's just go all. It's so much easier. There we go. Here's some brekkie. Yum. Right, and I guess we're gonna head out to yeah, I like Amma, Amua. I need to decide whether or not I'm gonna say Amma or Amua. Amma. Maybe Amua. I don't out. Let's get those directions up again. Staff of Magnus. Jira told me that the Staff of Magnus is in Asu, a sorcerer's cave on the slopes of Mount Khan, northwest of Malagmar. Northwest on the slopes of Mount Khan. But it just says Asu is on the slopes of Mount Khand, which is Mount Khand is northwest, but you know, we'll, we'll go northwest, we'll go northwest. Um, that'll be from this way. I think I have to go to this ruin for another quest as well, actually. Chleftingth. Yep. Good old Dwema ruins. Ncheleftungtha. Which I think was another major skilled quest. It is. Yep, here we go. Ncheleftungtha expedition. Edwina, who is the head of the major's guild in a town called Aldrun. Just a bit of a nutcase for, for anything Dwema. Likes all the old artifacts and books. He wants me to go there and check up on Sanilius Cadiasus. Sanilius Cadiasus in Unchleftingtha. <laughs> I can get there by either going northeast over the mountains near Sturin and following the Foyada Nadanat northeast, or by starting in Molagmar and going northwest and following the Foyada north around Mount Khand. All right, well, why don't we go there? And if we find a Sioux on the way, great. Seven. Yeah, see, I feel like we only just got up and it was six. Now it's already seven. Maybe we could. I mean, having Brecky and getting out the door and stuff does take some time. So it does. We'll leave it. If I feel inclined to change it again, maybe I will. Gonna crazy mage fly off here. Maybe onto the. Can't go off there. Don't know that slow fall will get me all the way over there, although I can just levitate. I love it that you could fly in Morrowind. Why did they take that out of the other games? Oh, why? Such a cool mechanic. Yeah. Don't mind me, boys. Northwest. 
the way we're headed. As a kid, I always used to say Pelaglade. Pelag Pelaglade, yeah. But, uh, noticed later on in life that there's only one L. It's funny how when you, like, you never hear anyone say any of these place names in Morrowind and not being voice acted, so you kind of just mumble over it in your mind for years and then all of a sudden you've got to say it out loud on a Let's Play. <laughs> a bit different. But yeah, it said follow the Foyada northwest. If we see any caves, we'll, we'll check them. Oh. Oh. I know that sound. Hello, my age old foe. Looks like something on fire up there. Do we have a nice uh, frosty rate of frostfall? Oh, sounds good. I'm gonna keep constantly pacing up there so I can't range you with my ball. Oh god, game. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Oh, what the- Oh, it did get it? That- Okay, that was weird. I think it knows that someone's after it now, though. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I would like your soul, actually. Um... Please. I think I've got a soul trap spell. Is that on my my hotkeys? No, it's not. That's okay. Um, whoops. Soul trap. Ten seconds. Failed. Failed. Oh, mother. Oh, jeez. Why did, uh, why did that happen with my menus? I can't believe that this bloody fire actress almost killed me. That's ridiculous. What the bloody hell happened to my menus? That's just not on. Why did you freak out like that? Come on, let's get you back to normal. This was a bit... I mean, I might die in just a sec anyway, so I should just deal with um, this first. So, da, da. Um, I'll lay as a bit of an alchemist, if you can't tell. Let's see how that goes. And um, we might also equip Path Heal. I mean, we need actually a bit more, a bit more magicka. We're out of magicka as well. Fortify it. Yep. And we'll restore it as well. Magic and health buff. Restore. Buff fatigue. Fortify health. Fortify. Oh. No, we don't need that. And we'll fortify our health as well. What if it works differently to how I always thought? It actually, like, doesn't increase your maximum. It just, like, an instant restore. Which is interesting. I had not been using them like that for basically my whole life playing this game. 
Alright. Let's see if we can survive. We'll equip the Daedric Bite spell as well, because that does a pretty good job. It's our go to. Oh. Yeah, nice. Okay, I didn't get your soul, but I at least didn't die. Why are the menus doing that? Oh my god, the game seems frozen. Oh no! I could quick save, but I can't move. Or well, my mouse is. I think my mouse just died. There we go. Well, this first episode's going wonderfully. Totally and completely problem free. <laughs> How just like Morrowind. Ah, it's alright. Things like this is bound to happen. I might remember to try to plug my mouse in the next uh, next episode so that, that doesn't happen again. But what are the chances of that happening? My wireless mouse like literally never dies. And then as soon as I'm recording I don't need a mouse. Alright, so we need to be going northwest around. Oh. Got a bit more health going on than I thought. Did you just give me a disease? No, good. Lighted a lit. Get you gone. So, yeah, that's definitely northwest, and this is starting to look a bit more like a mountain. Feel that last little sneaky bit of health there. So in where we are, that's where we're going. In vanilla Morrowind, your magic up the little blue bar in the bottom left hand corner doesn't regenerate over time. Which is something that does happen in the later Elder Scrolls games. Goodness, no. Well, we're going. We're going northwest. This is northwest. Mount Khan. There you go. Oh, I've even got a nice little map mark for it. Beautiful. But I've got a sneaky little mod that does make it so that you do regenerate magic. Oh, so it is really quite slow. Is this a zoo? No, Mount Khan Cavern. This sounds kind of interesting, though. Like, oh my God, it is. see a thing. I should not have gone in here. I now can't see the way back. Okay, I really need a, li a, a light spell. I'm glad I quick saved before I went in there. I hope... I hope that the places we need to go aren't too dark for me. Before I started the Let's Play, I did install a realistic lighting mod. And I should have picked up a light source before going out to the wilderness. And it's going to be a bit bloody annoying if we have to go back to Molagma. I knew there was going to be a cave or something up here. It just. You can, oh, my explorer's sixth sense was just tingling a little bit. It's going to be a bit annoying if we have to go all the way back to town to pick up a bloody lantern or something. A zoo! <gasps> Wonderful. All right. We'll see how dark it is in there. I mean, I can always just cast Mark and Recall, which is what I will do if I have to come back. Mark and Recall are uh, some pretty handy teleport spells, but we've got some magical crystals in here that are going to give us light. It's just a lovely coincidence. We'll see how much.
Oh, I like their alchemy ingredients. Love how they hum slightly. I mean, she's a witch. She's a po potion making witch. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, Deidroth ahead. I feel like the sound's a little bit quiet now. Gosh, it's never, never perfect, is it? A little bit more. More effects. Oops. A little bit more voice. We'll find the sweet spot eventually. Um, sure of it. It is often something that I that I play with a bit, even when I'm um, just on my own, though. So. Motherfucker, go. I'll take that light source, but it's kind of doing a good job there. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 I shouldn't have done that. Ah! Oh well. Perhaps I should summon something of my own to aid me in battle. Hunger. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, help me, don't run. Oh, it's poisoning me. Vanquishing time. Let's have a look at what we got here that can help. Maybe some shield. Some reflect. Yes. Slow fall. Yeah, that's gonna help. I think my. There's a belt here that um, does a pretty good job. Yep. Gold of the Armor God. It's only worth 33 gold, but I got it really early on in the playthrough and. Been a pretty consistent help. Consistent help. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. What are you talking about? Wrath of my tiny blade. I think we got him. I don't know about the the actual wizard. Yeah. Take your skin. Take your skin. Take your heart. Yes, thank you. That was hectic. I wonder if there's much more of this cave, or if that was it. Yep, turns out that me and my hunger was a pretty good match. Fancy shoes. Pretty sword. That's what was poisoning me. I think I have a poison cure spell, but. or potion. Alright, well, there's. Oh! What are you? This cave might be reflect gain agility restore fatigue. Yeah, that that looks 
crystal hills. Let's do that. the soul. Why didn't I get its soul? Maybe it resisted or something. Oh, That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Let's see if there's any good loot around here. Crap. I can handle that. Got a nice little your probie woby. I never said probie woby in my life, and I probably never will again. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, of course I still have to unlock it. There we go. What was the hotkey okay, for my there it is piece of paper pd potion okay potion and sketchy book like the sketchy book There's got to be something cool in here, but I can't see down there at all. Is that a slaughterfish though? Because if it is, I think I can light it up. Yeah, nice. Oh, cool. Thank you, slaughterfish. That is a handy trick. Amulet of stamina. Eh, fine shirt, they gold. Oops, no. I'm not putting my Grandmaster's Mortar and Pestle in this horn chest at the bottom of a pond in a cave. Thank you, but no thank you. Yeah, no, neither of those are... I mean, I'll take the shirt. Why not? This sort of fish is having a swing at me, but I literally don't care. Oh my god, can I get out of here? I'm stuck. Okay. Light source, you are dead. Oh, it's still lighting though. It's dead and it's still a light source. That's cool. Oh yeah. I yeah see, I thought I'm not going to fit under that platform. Am I? Oh my god, this is so Water walking. There we go. Lovely. These crystals are a vibe though, aren't they? The slaughter fish I could use as a light source. Probably if I get in the water, one of them will come and attack me, though, if there is one. I feel like I want a quick save before I try that, though. Oh, 
someone's trying to attack me. Hello! Are you guys gonna jump in the water after me? Because that would be funny. Then I could use one of you as a light source. I don't know how to get up there. I mean, I'm a bloody mage. I can teleport across this chasm. Do I want to do that, though, if you guys are stuck over there? Because I can just, like, range spell you. Let's take that. I was definitely supposed to levitate. There's some chests here. Uh, I mean, I'll deal with these guys first. Don't have enough magicka. Give me more magic. Little health, restore magicka. Wasn't bollocks. Yeah, I think having that twenty five percent reflect on this robe is pretty handy. I want your soul. I'm going to keep trying. Soul trap. I think this is an on target. Is it? On touch. Ah. Oh, never mind. I will just kill you. Did that other lady die or is she just hanging around there somewhere? I've still got battle music. But you know what? I'm gonna unlock these first. Again, I'm just gonna do it. Probe you, baby. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, 24 weight. Too much. Emeralds, though, definitely. Round of gold, definitely. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I can always drop it if I. Eh, nah, nah, nah. Too heavy. Too heavy to bother. Lovely. Oh. Oh, amulet of Slowfall. I think I already have one of those. Yeah. Exactly the same. Worth it, so I'll sell it. Ancestor Ring. Summon a ghost. Lovely. Exquisite boots. Exquisite robe. First barrier belt. And heart bite ring. Else. End of 50 points on touch. Not bad. Not bad. I do kind of like this realistic lighting. It's, you know, um, um, I like an excuse to use additional little immersive things in games like this a lantern or to just use a proper light spell now what, what am I doing
got no magic. I was like, why aren't my spells hitting her? You know what? Let's use some poisons. I've got some pretty cool poisons that I made. Drain magicka, fatigue, and poison. Yep, let's do that. Oh my god, uh, my health is going like crazy. Uh, this piece. Maybe a fortify health as well. Oh my god, too many potions. Quality fortify health, there we go. I like potions, so I think I want some potions as well. So Do I have potion of cure poison? Or will, it, will it be labeled like that? I haven't really used cure poison in my but I should. There's a lot of things that poison you. It's just called cure poison. Instead of oh, I just poisoned myself. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was this. I think I just took that myself. There's a another mod I've got which allows you to brew poisons, which is not something you can generally do in Morrowind, but I think poisons are cool, but if you forget to set it from potion to poison, I believe you will just drink it by accident like I just did. So there's a couple of, yeah, I mean, let's just see if I die. Okay, I am paralyzed, but my health is going up. Die! Oh, yes. I really didn't think I was gonna make that. <laughs> Stuff you, Condra. Yeah, take your robe. Uh, your ring's pretty crap, though. Still got combat music, which is interesting. Could just be a slaughter fish, like literally. Could just be a tiny fish in there that wants me dead. Oh, we've got this epic combat music. Oh, adds tension. Fortify intelligence, eh. Protect enchantment. Protect creature. Protect magical. Oh, yes please. Yes please. Villain for um, spell summon dangerous for 120 seconds on self. Nice. I wonder if that was the name of the, the sorcerer that we killed with um Oh, more scrolls with all the dangerous at the start. What have we got? Roll of great weakness. Yeah, cool. Red scorn. Yeah. Do you think? Scrolls are always worth picking up because they don't weigh very much. So they're good loot to carry, just um, you, know, you can carry a ton of scrolls and they barely weigh a thing and then you can generally sell them for a decent amount. Hey my probie wavy. It's just stuck now. 
and gas ah. It's boiled. Boiled. Probably. Yeah, someone's hiding all this shit alchemy. It's bloody. Is that it? Staff of Magnus. Oh, yes! Spell absorption, 25 to 50 points. Restore health, 1 point for 60 seconds on health. You know, I... That's not bad. Only weighs 10. I kind of thought it would be an offensive weapon, but um... It's still pretty cool. Edric artifact associated with Magnus, Aldmeri god of magic, who served Lorcan as the architect of Mundus. This staff once served as a metaphysical battery, but in the hands of mortals seems limited to the absorption of vital energies from foes. Echoing similar tales of Magnus's flight from creation, forming the great hole in the firmament that brightens each day, the staff of Magnus is said to abandon its wielders for the sake of maintaining the mystical balance of the Orbis. That's a pretty cool little story, honestly. I'll take your nice road. Take that detect. Um, I'm going to take that detect enchantment potion and just see if this, the mini map is hiding anything. It does look like I've explored all of this cave. Maybe. Orwin's pretty good at hiding things, though. And the combat music is still on. I mean, it could be be an enemy that's flicked through the walls by accident and is now just running futilely into the external mesh. <laughs> but yeah, they look like crappy ones. Detect the enchantment and detect creature. Yeah, there's nothing showing up on the map. That's, um, within range of the potion anyway. I wonder actually if I can get her up here anywhere. No. That might be it. I mean, we went to the end, we got the staff. No trickery. No trickery here. Not that I can see, at least. I think it's time to leave. I reckon that there's a fish in there that wants me dead and that's what the combat music is for. Where is that's a sneaky camera though. That's a sneaky camera for sure. Source. I, I would potentially see a lot better in there. But I think we have adequately investigated this cave, nonetheless. We have the Staff of Magnus. 
which is pretty cool. And it's midday. And Molag Amur. And I think we might leave it at that for the first episode. We um, yeah, got the code book, completed a classically annoying Morrowind Fighters Guild quest, and um, we have the Staff of Magnus, which I think means that our layer must be a pretty boss witch. I mean, look at how pricey this bugger is. 210,000 gold. I'm not complaining about that. Thanks, Adira. Yeah, thanks for, um... Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching our first episode. There will be... more to come. I'm Sapphire. Cheers, folks. <laughs>